So before and after again is in a sense a love letter to the community. Not only are we creating space to have honest and critical conversations about issues that our community has been dealing with since well before May 14th, we're also showing the beauty of our community through its existence and not necessarily just through resilience. We know that our communities are resilient, they are strong. We don't need to say that because we live it, but we need to remember that that beauty lies in the fact that we are here. And while we're here, we have to make sure that we honor each other and we honor those whose lives have been taken from us. And I'm hoping that this exhibition will create space to do that. So for this exhibition, I wrote a 1500 word prose piece, um, Finding Home, Finding Healing in Love. And what I really wanted to do um, writing that essay was to process um, my own feelings and process just what I was seeing as this collective grief, this collective mourning, but how do we take the lessons that can be learned from the lives of the 10 individuals lost on that horrible day um, and, and really embody those lessons into how we carry on and how we continue to live our lives um, as fully and as meaningfully um, as we can. This exhibition deals with the tragedy at the Tops in Buffalo on May 14th, 2022. The title comes from this notion that we measure time uh, before and after moments like a tragedy. And the again comes from the fact that we in America deal with episodic and epidemic violence that is bound to happen again if we don't come together as a community. When I got about halfway into creating the figurative work in this exhibition, I realized that we needed another component that talked about the systemic issues. And the still life pieces really address that history of Jefferson Avenue. Uh, I thought that was really important because I think about all of the stories and all of the rich legacy of not only Buffalo, but specifically Jefferson Avenue that is lost um, as we lose elders. And I think that that's even more important when we consider the context of the exhibition. So with the still life pieces, I think it's a way to honor that legacy and that history and to get people curious and make them ask questions.